Hello everyone, welcome to Self Love You. I am Jenna Ryan, your Self Love Life Coach. I wanna welcome all of my self lovies, those of you who subscribe, who are a part of this channel, a part of this community, and especially those of you who are in my coaching program, that you know who you are, we, the response to the coaching program has been over the top amazing. And we're getting everyone in and doing everything. So today's the call at 12 o'clock. If you're interested in coaching, go to selfloveyou.net. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and provide for you this valuable information today. What I want to talk to you about is taking your time in getting to know someone. We're going to go deep here, so get ready. Really get your notepad out. Taking your time when getting to know someone. It's not as simple as doing that for those of us who have issues with codependency. You know, PM Melody talks a lot about facing codependency and how it sabotages our lives. Those of us who are overcoming toxic relationships, overcoming a lack of self-love, overcoming codependency, overcoming emotional pain, we may have a more difficult time than the average person in putting on the brakes with a relationship, in a new relationship, and taking our time in getting to know someone. So that's who I'm talking to today. I'm talking to those of you who may be on, in, you know, maybe interested in getting to know someone new. You may be in a relationship and thinking of getting out. What I'm saying is when you go into a new relationship, it's very important that you take your time and do not move too quickly. There's those of us who have a tendency to fall very fast. And what happens when you start falling fast, you fall for people that are not necessarily healthy for you, and then you end up splattering on the ground. What happens when you start this falling process, this falling in love process without a healthy infrastructure, without a healthy sense of self, you end up giving yourself away. You give everything that you have to this person and you abandon yourself. What happens, I believe, this is my theory, I'm not a doctor, but I believe that what you do is go into some sort of trance, some sort of hypnotic trance where it's very akin to childhood when maybe you're unmet maybe you have unmet childhood dependency needs and you create a fantasy bond with another person instead of a real relationship so you go off into fantasy zone with someone that you with the person you think the person is with the person you need the person to be instead of who the person really is it is very important and vital for yourself to learn how to take your time in getting to know another person. If they check all the boxes, if they are a person that you want, you still have to do work looking under the hood, as if you're gonna purchase a car. I mean, people are not cars, but you wanna treat who you give your heart away to very, very carefully, and take your sweet time. Anyone who really cares about you, Anyone who's really going to be good for you is going to be more than willing to allow you the space to figure out where things go. They're going to not run away. You, you don't have to please them. You don't have to meet their needs right away. You don't have to worship them. You don't have to bow down and go, ah, oh, oh, oh. you do not have to do that because you're going to hold on to yourself and hold on to your heart and put your heart on a leash and you are going to make choices based upon actions and not fantasy and not words. There is a process called love bombing. In the love bombing phase, the other person who is not always good for you, I mean, you have to really kind of gauge it because some people may really, really love you and like you and like you and everything may be fine. But you still have to tap the brakes. You still have to come back to yourself. You still have to keep people back. They can't come so close to you so quickly. You have to set the pace. You have to stay connected to yourself. Stay in tune with your own intuition. Stay in tune with your own body. Stay in tune with your own gut feelings and keep in tune with your life. Keep moving forward in your life. Keep progressing. There's a tendency for people who are codependent to give everything up, to give everything away. Forget about all your friends. Forget about all your hobbies. 
forget about what you did before and just throw yourself into a situation like Harry and Meghan. You know, just throw yourself into a situation that may not be the best for you. You've got to hold on and tie yourself down, literally, not literally, ima imaginarily. <laughs> you have to like think about, you know, you know, I'm not going to go haywire here. I'm going to see how things unfold. So you notice how I'm using self-talk. I'm going to see how things unfold. I'm going to see, okay, I, I really like this person. He's very interesting or she's very interesting, but I'm just going to kind of slow down and see how things unfold. I want to get to know this person. I don't want to allow my emotional part of me, my the part of me that just goes in, goes all in. I mean, I, I definitely want that to come into play eventually, just not right away. Just not, I don't want to give myself away. And that's what you want to do. So you want to hold on and you want to say, you know, and you talk to yourself as you're talking to your inner child. You know, you know I see, wow. And you feel that feeling, wow, you have a lot of happiness when you think about this person. That is good. It's good to feel happy when thinking about another person. And then your yourself goes, oh, I want to, I want to have their baby. Okay. Then you have to say, whoa, have their baby. That's a lot. You want to do that? Really? Okay, well, let's think about this and let's go ahead and slow things down a bit. And then you say, what else can we think about? Don't we have something else we can think about? Let's go make that wonderful soup we've been wanting to make. Let's go read that awesome book. Let's go watch a video. Let's go have some ice cream. Let's go for a walk. Let's go plan meals for the future. Let's go iron our clothes. Let's go organize our closet. Let's do something. And, and don't allow yourself to become obsessed or in a trance with someone who you don't know yet. Because let me tell you, nothing is worse than being entranced, than being in love. What, what, I don't know if that's really love. It's something, I think it's unhealthy love than being addicted, than being obsessed with someone who is not healthy. Like you're here you are all the way 100% in love with somebody and they have a problem with drinking in the morning or they have a problem with their ex-wife or they have a problem cheating or they have a problem with their character or they have a problem, they have another person. You know, you need to know you don't just listen to words. You don't just listen just because they say this and say that. You know, show me the receipts. I need to see receipts. And receipts can only come, in this instance, through time. You have to give yourself time to get to know someone. See how they are. Are they responsive to you? Are they using words that would trigger your trance state? Or are they staying grounded? and appropriate to the level in which you know them. Because if you don't know someone that well, then you're not ready to dive deep and talk about love and da, 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 da. You are more at a lower level and you have to keep people at bay and um, don't let them come too close to you until you know for a fact that that is the person that you want to be close to and you can trust that person. And it is a difficult task to hold on to your heart if you are someone who has dealt with codependency. Holding on to your heart is a skill and you can learn the skill day by day, moment by moment in coming back to yourself, staying connected to your truth, paying attention to what's going on inside, your feelings, your emotions, your body, um, and then beginning to take action, you know, from your solar plexus, I will, I am, and really going forward in who you are and not getting caught up in the net of someone else's game because you do not know anyone until you know them. And you don't want to find out who they are after you've already gone to have fallen in love with them. You want to know beforehand so that you can decide, okay, I am ready to take the next step and I'm ready to allow myself to the freedom to trust this person a little more and to trust a little more and to trust a little more until it naturally 
evolves into something meaningful instead of just, oh my God, there's so many. I think I want to go. I'm going to jump into their arms and run away with them. And I'm going to fantasize and it's going to feel so good. We don't want to do that because that is not healthy and it causes pain at the end of the day. If you do not really gauge yourself and be very methodical about being careful to stay in tune with yourself. Okay, so that's the video for today. I'll see you guys on the call. We're going in six minutes. Those of you who have signed up for the Friday call, it's amazing. All the coaching is amazing, more amazing than I ever could have imagined. And I think that my, my clients um, would agree. We love it. It's amazing. And we're growing and watching people grow is amazing. And um, until next time, I'm Jenna Ryan and I will talk to you soon.